<laughs> What's going on, everyone? Thank y'all for joining us. We are the Boys of Outspoken. We finally got to get together on this lovely Sunday uh, we to review the Prince Charming, of course, the reunion. What did y'all think about this cute reunion? Mm, I thought it was, was kind of boring. It was okay. Yeah, I, I was mean, expecting more. Yeah, what do you, let's specify. What do you mean more, more like boring? Well, first of all, I mean, the way that they did it, it was like just so typical. They brought everybody there. Yes. Everybody just kind of like talked about their own experience. For the most part, I feel like the only one that kind of kept it real was our girl, Sam. I mean, Sam kept it pretty damn real, as real as he could. I anyways, mean. Anyways, given the circumstances. I know, you know? I know. Uh, There's so much they cut out, though. I know that online they put a lot of the, uh, the juicy like stuff. the juicier yeah. stuff online instead of on the show, but that's what we want to see. I want to see them fight. I want to hear more about their hookups. I don't give a shit if they're together. I don't care about any of that stuff. I want to yeah. see the drama and all the behind the scenes stuff. Why didn't? Why don't you think they did that? Why didn't they just put it out there? Do you think they're well, still trying to protect the show? And what? I think they they have a yeah. certain image of what they want Prince Charming. But if to you be. watch The Bachelorette, they. That, that thrives off of that. Yeah, yeah. the extra that's drama yeah. that yeah, comes that's what's going to get that next season. I'm going to get another viewer in. I don't know. Oh, shit, but yeah. You know no, I, mean? I like, agree, yeah. I, one thing is, like, there shouldn't be no more drama after the show. I don't want to go out and have an issue with you when I'm out trying to have a drink at P.S. or can, wherever I'm at. Yeah. They shouldn't, I, I don't want yeah. that. But I feel so like, like the only one who gets that was, like, Robbie. I felt like Robbie's demeanor was definitely, like, I'm here strictly for my personal. She, my person. I I love she love was just being funny. funny. I, for, the, for the rest of the episode, I'm going to be Robbie. <laughs> like, honey, I just sit back and I just enjoy the show. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> real the footage. <laughs> that was funny. Real the <laughs> oh, one thing I did really like about uh, the reunion was the kind of the behind the scenes stuff it showed with everybody, like their their brotherhood and the relationships they formed, and them talking about like what it is to be gay and grow up gay, and like the really serious issues, things that we we like talking about too, you know, like mm -hmm. the important issues. And I think if they would have had a lot more of that, I mean, I guess it's only so much you can show on the show. Mm -hmm. But if they would have had some more of those touching moments and some more of that Give us and, a more and going up gay, yeah. right, these connections with them, I think that would have really helped the show yeah. too because that was oh, some of the best parts of the reunion. And I, I, I would like to see more of that, the guys bonding and getting to know each other and sharing yeah, their experiences absolutely. for sure. Because it is like, it does feel like a brotherhood type of thing, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. especially w between like some of the contestants, you know, like Dylan and, and um, uh, Brandon and like they Final like four, five, the final six. Four, yeah. Which makes sense now because it's Alone. like, I didn't get that before mm -hmm. the behind right. the scenes. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, I just like, why do they have such a strong connection? They're fighting for the first, the same man. Right. So then you right. kind of get like, okay, they they actually were in a house. They did live together. They did have to jive, and yeah, and they're friends now. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you, you meet people who you really connect with on a friendship level. Mm -hmm. You know, so you want to keep those people in your life. So mm -hmm. why not? I think that was Logo's intention, and I applaud yeah. them for that one. Like yeah. showing that what it is. Good. It is different being gay. Like regardless, like you put a bunch of gay guys in one room. Of course, some are gonna hook up. Some are gonna go, yeah. you know, That's why I deep like, friendships, you know? know? Why not do just like a real world skate? I would like that. Or Jersey Shore games. Oh, I don't that know. That would be great. No. Sign me up. Let's oh. see that mess every oh. night in WeHo. Oh, I don't need to see it. Oh. We see it right here. <laughs> Bro, I was gonna say, what are you doing? Yeah. You're just trying to I'm, cast I'm, yourself. I'm, That's I'm what you're doing. <laughs> You're this trying to in the Abbey. Of course, you know, they talked about the whole Jason and Chad. You know, they went into mm -hmm. this as friends. Now, mm -hmm. that's something I couldn't do. Had I known a friend was going to be in the competition, mm -hmm. I would have dropped out. Yeah. Or maybe the other one dropped out. <laughs> one of the other one. Compete for a man. Like, I'm not going to fight. Mean? I'm not going to compete with my friend for a man. And so mm -hmm. I, I did like how they brought it up. And um, they kind of squashed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they did. Good. I think Jason good. was genuinely trying to, like, yeah. squash any anything on his part. Well, he I had no choice. He was, like, one of the first people eliminated. Yeah. So. <laughs> but he did seem like <laughs> a nice guy. guy. We liked him when he was on. Yeah. Was yes. I did, I did forget that he was on the show. When he, uh, well, when I, when you know I, didn't, I did forget that he was a part of the cast. Though. I completely really? forgot about yeah. the one that the kind of bear guy with the yeah. beard, the white guy, who him. actually seems like a nice guy. He's cool good looking. I thought he was, he was one cute. of the producers. Right. <laughs> that he's just sitting in for somebody. No. <laughs> the black guy with the scruff. Mm -hmm. Rod. Robert. Yeah, Rodney was just like, oh, uh, why didn't he open up about his past? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, he, and I like. I didn't like it. I was just I was shaking. Robert was like, "Well, you were one of the first to go. Like, of course, I didn't close it with you." Right. 
But I think especially the episode where they all told their secret, that would have been a prime opportunity Definitely. for Robert. When you're making them be at their very most vulnerable mm -hmm. and they're telling you all of their stuff, that would have been a good time for you to kind and of And that's open what up. he was saying. He was like, did you only do it because producers, you know, because of what was being said of you on the show? Did, yes. That why he did? Yes, that's why he did it. Well, that's In my opinion, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's... Robert does not come across as a person who would be genuine and own up to his flaws yeah. unless he's cornered. That's yeah. how he comes around. In my I opinion, feel like, sorry about it. When do you think he should have closed up when you're dating someone? Right ahead? I mean, not the or first date. Someone. Yeah, definitely not, not, the, not the first, first day. date. You, know, you, you wait a little bit, you see like what their vibe is, you see what yeah. their more, more morality is or what, what they think of certain things like that, right. and then you disclose it. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's understandable why you would want to hold that from somebody at the very beginning, or you know. But if you're falling in love with somebody, you're growing a deep connection with them. It's like honestly, the whole masquerade uh, part when they where everybody had to really he should have really that would have been that, yeah. that would have been everybody that, that would have been, nice. been nice. yeah. yeah. Okay, you're really open up now. I feel like you're not just putting on this front, right? Like, no. okay, you fucking been through some shit. You're trying to be a better person, you know, allegedly. But I feel like the show would have been more focused on you know his whole escorting pass if he would have done it at that time mm -hmm. i feel like mm -hmm. it made sense for sh show wise to do it towards the end mm -hmm. because then you know the show's almost over get everything out the out the open boom you, you know? think so i almost feel like sometimes when you if you beat other people to the punch and address something they're yeah. kind of like yeah oh but then they get over it quick yeah. you know yeah i kind of feel like that oh, that's why you just i don't Robert, like he just doesn't come across as genuine. I'm sorry. Still, like, well, we don't know him in his personal life. Maybe he's very different in his personal life, you know? Yeah. You know, maybe he's like, maybe he likes to sew or knit. When Danique started talking about his struggles with dating okay. other guys, like yeah. he feels like, like that, obviously Danique is, he's attractive, he's yeah. cute, but he has a hard time meeting guys that see him as relationship material. Mm -hmm. I can kind of relate to that from you guys. So can I, yeah, for sure. Like, it, I, 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 but I really admire the fact that he talked about yeah. it because I feel like for me that that's always been something that I've never really wanted to talk about because it's kind of an insecurity. Why? I talk, I talk about it on the first dates, <laughs> which is probably the problem. Why you don't have no, a second date? about the first yeah. date. That's probably the issue right there. Most people don't really. Know. Some people find that intimidating. They yeah. do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I can understand well, why people. <laughs> I can understand why people are like not you know want to yeah. take it to the next step with him. I don't know. I, it's um, a little vulnerable for him to open up about that. For me, the, the issue is more of like I don't feel like I'm enough sometimes. Like mm -hmm. I'll have someone hit on me, I'm like, and I'll be downplaying myself before I even like give anybody a shot. That was my issue, was downplaying myself. And I feel like he might be doing the same. He seems like a decent guy, very good looking, good light, good energy about him. Mm -hmm. Denise telling his experience and how he sort of came to this realization and everything through the course of the show and then speaking about it, about mm -hmm. himself. I think that was actually one of the most real moments from the oh, entire yeah. show. And it was one of the only times that I almost a little emotional because mm -hmm. you really do relate to him and yeah. everyone knows what it's like to be not only like different because you're gay, but gay and outcast in your own community sometimes for whatever yeah. reason. So you definitely need to be told that. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. You're, yeah. You know, you're worthy. I will say this. I will say this. I really did like the fact that Sam uh -huh. told the T about the hookup. Yes! Yeah. Wasn't that a great? That's yeah. why I said Sam was the only one I felt like that kept it real. He right. said always, I love you, Sam. Sam. Right. Sam knows how to make good television. Mm -hmm. He does. Sam knows how and that's what I thought when I looked back at the reunion. Like, yeah. he, knew, he knew what would hit. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. Dylan! But it's gonna be on TV, so right. and yeah. that's this exactly, clip is gonna make it. Yep, that's true. And they did he got a lot of airtime on the yeah. finale, almost yeah. more than the love relationship between and him and the suitors. Yeah. yeah. He deserved I mean, all the airtime. It was yeah. good. It was entertaining. It was what we came there for a little bit. You know, we, we have to have a little bit of drama. If it's not gonna be real genuine drama and deep meaningful the bonds, then I wanna see Messing. Wait, I was going to say, yeah, I want to see messiness, exactly. If it's not going to be real love, I want to see the drama and the messiness. Yeah. So yeah. when they finally brought in Eric and Brandon, I felt like for the first time I, I really did sense the awkwardness a little bit. Like, you could tell that Brandon and Eric do have mad love for each other. Obviously, yeah. everybody mm -hmm. became friends. Right. But you could tell a little bit that my boo Brandon was deeply affected yeah. and his heart was broken. Yeah. I, 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 I really, could sense it in him, and I felt really bad for him. Eric, you don't show anything. Like, oh, but maybe okay. that's why. But maybe that's why Robert went for him. Yeah. Prince Charming knew that he wasn't 
gonna go anywhere with either of them, and mm-hmm. it would just be easier to break out of his heart because because he cares less about it. Because there's not <laughs> like as much <laughs> there. Yeah. I, yes. Yes. I agree. I agree. I agree. Because mm-hmm. he realized Brandon's more like sensitive, sensitive, and uh, more real, himself and interesting. Because they asked Eric and they asked uh, Robert, like, well, so where do you guys stand now? Are you together? It was very weird, like wishy-washy. Well, they say I, I didn't get to watch the last fifteen minutes. But... Oh, you know, we're just taking it day by day. Yeah, Robert's like, I'm moving out here to LA so I can be closer. Doesn't he to... already live in LA? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. He's like, I'm. Well, he said I moved out here to LA. Depends where his client <laughs> is. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Allegedly. Leave him alone. Leave Robert alone. You know what? Fuck the bullshit. Robert Sepulveda for president. 2020. Girl, oh, God. No. No, no. Hey, I will take him over. Trump. 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 The Trump. world Trump. is putting Trump. reality stars as presidents, especially dumb reality stars that have no business running and are fraud. So I guess maybe he could make a good president. <laughs> Had a rough oh my week. god, we're comparing this one. I know, I know. I'm very emotional. We are not. We're being, we're just. I'm on my period. Week. It's, no, it's been a crazy week. It has been a crazy week. It has been. It's oh. taking all my anger out on Robert. I'm sorry. <laughs> right after the reunion aired, I think the same night, our old friend Chad was at it again, Instagramming, tweeting, spilling more tea. Being petty. You know, being a little, you know, it is, I get it, I get it, is a little bit petty. It is not, you know, everyone should take the higher road. However, I want to hear about it. So stop taking, don't take the high road, keep spilling more the tea. Though. It's, no, it really is kind of more entertaining. It's more entertaining than the reunion was. Sorry about it. But like, so he is now alleging that I guess like right after the show, Robert still was contacting a few of the guys, trying to hook up with them. I guess he is was... guilty of hitting up an ex for sex. I know, but right, right, but, but right. he's no, saying exactly. that. But his argument was, you're saying you're still with Eric, but then you kind of made your rounds That's around the fine. cast, well, yeah. and you're about. you're trying exactly. to hook up with all of us. I disagree with with Chad doing that. That was. Um, childish, petty, and just too messy. Like that's none. That's that's none of our business. To, what what right. he's doing and hitting hook. So you say don't even up. put that out. Don't there. put it out there. Why why would you even? That's fair. What business? No, is that's fair. Fair. Like, why are you so bothered by yeah. what Robert yeah. is doing? Yeah, that's his I get business. that, but I still want to know. It's so juicy. <laughs> it is so juicy. Yeah. Well, so in life, you're gonna have people that give you that, and mm-hmm. that makes it entertaining. I want those people like in my life that would turn on me and spill all my tea like that. Exactly. But but if I'm watching it on the internet or the TV, because I'm sure there's some exaggeration, but there's probably some truth to some of the things he says too. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, you know, we all have our different perspectives, but there is a little bitterness in him towards Robert, yeah. clearly, that, you know, that's what's fueling it. But, you know, it is he interesting. Plus embezzlement, right? Yeah, he says that Robert, like, either frauded a company of $40,000 or embezzled or owes a company. The rainbow thing. thing, right? Right, and he said he still was hooking even after the show. Hooking. Escorting after the show. (laughs) Still making that coin, looking up some of his. Well, you know, his rates probably went up. Venmo these coins. Right? (laughs) Well, those, like those serious has, accusations, especially about embezzlement. Like, yeah, those those is, actually uh, are pretty serious. That's like pretty serious. You're that's right. Business. All fun aside, you know that is kind of coming for someone really personally and illegal stuff. So, if you're not saying the truth on that, you know that you actually are kind of liable yeah. to get sued. It's not. Exactly. It's one thing making fun of him and being shady, but to like criticize his business yeah, and right. his or falsely or falsely yeah, accused. Yeah. Yeah. You know, look for your next 15 somewhere else. Like, mm-hmm. girl, move on. She, it was a no. You got your tie back, girl. Oh. <laughs> Justin, he, he told us on the show now that he's using kind of his platform for Good. his new, cha- not charity. It's not a charity, but it's an organization mm-hmm. um, that reaches out to LGBT youth and teaches yeah. them to, you know, control the room is what it's called. It's, all that you're yes, I did. I saw how to do and all, right. the, all the no. essentials. Which is my charity. Well, that's yeah. important, too. Right. Maybe you could start a charity for that. Yes. That but uh, Justin's Control the Room is just about empowering youth to be proud of what they bring and who they are and living in their, their talent or, you know, whoever they are. I'm here for that. Being strong. And I, I applaud him for that, too. He's definitely... I'd rather see that than mess. Yeah. 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 I yeah. It's, it's definitely nice to see the contestants doing positive things with uh, with their, you know, with their fame. Absolutely. Finding Prince Charming is officially over, so you won't be getting any reviews from us in the meantime. But until the next season rolls yes, around. they're now casting for season two. You might they see just this started one casting. On there. 
There's at least one <laughs> member of our, our team that's gonna apply. Girl. Guess who in the comments? <laughs> yeah. I have, I, I can't. I can't. I can, I can never. I can't. Oh, I'm fast forward. Right right <laughs> I'm on the camera right now. I'm on right now. Well, guys, thank you so much for following us, watching us uh, review Prince Charming this whole season. It's a new show, and we want to do, uh, you know, talk about it because it is important to our community. Yeah, yeah. Be, be real about it. So, thank you guys so much for watching all of our reviews. Until next season. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Thank you so yeah. much. Real world, world. Yeah. Say it three times fast. Real world, real world, real world, real world, real world. Real world. Yes. Because I told my mom, like, real world. My cousin's eating stuff. Like, oh, Jeb, say it. And I go in the living room, and everyone's just looking at me, they're like, say that, say real world. Real world. Oh. Real world. Oh. <laughs> and then I go to my room and cry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those. That's one of those.